Hi, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at the difference between distance, area and volume. And to do so I want to progress from a one-dimensional straight line to a two-dimensional rectangle to a three-dimensional rectangular prism. So let's start first with distance. Distance is a one-dimensional measurement that will measure the length between two points. So imagine for a second you have a piece of string and you connect one end to your chest and the other end to your computer screen. If you marked off this string and measured the marked off segment of the string, this would tell you the distance between you and your computer screen. So let's say for a second you measured this and you found that the length of this marked off segment was three feet. This would tell you that the distance between you and your computer screen is three feet. So Distance is a one-dimensional measurement that we measure with straight lines. So now we move over to area. And area would tell you how much paint you would need to cover a wall. So in some sense, area tells you how many little squares we need to cover a flat two-dimensional surface. So if we looked at an example with the area of a rectangle, let's say we had a three-foot by two-foot rectangle. So now we want to know how many little squares we would need to cover this rectangle. So we use the equation for area. We have area equals length times width. So we have the length is 3 feet times the width, which is 2 feet. So now when we simplify this, we have area equals 3 times 2 is 6. And now this part is important. Feet times feet is feet to the second power. So we have feet to the second power. But now let's think of another way we could say feet to the second power. We could say feet squared or square feet. So now well, I'm going to mark up this rectangle. I want to section off and make three columns. Since we're going three feet across, I want to mark this off and make three columns. And now the length of each of these columns is going to be one feet. So now we have one foot plus one foot plus one foot brings us right back to that three foot length we started with. And now we have this rectangle is two feet wide, so I want to make two rows. And the width of each of these rows is going to be one foot as well. Because we have one foot plus one foot would bring us right back to two feet. So now if we interpret this area we found, six square feet, this tells us that we literally have six squares. So we need six squares that are one foot by one foot. So we need six square feet to cover this entire rectangle. This is what this means. So now that we've interpreted area also, let's zoom over to volume. So now volume, we're going to introduce a new dimension. Notice how we went from distance is the length between two points to area is length times width and now volume is length times width times height. So now imagine for a second we have this same rectangle but now I'm going to tip it over and it's going to be on the base of this rectangular prism. So this piece here is going to be three feet long. It's going to be two feet wide but now we're going to throw in the third dimension of height and let's say that this rectangular prism is four feet tall. So now what volume is going to measure is the number of little cubes we could place inside of this rectangular prism. So imagine you have some cardboard box and you're filling it with perfect cubes. This would tell you how many little cubes you would need to fill the box. So if we use the equation for volume, we have volume equals length, which is three feet, times width, which is two feet, times height, which is four feet. So now the volume equals, we have 3 times 2 is 6, and 6 times 4 is 24. So we have 24, and now we have feet times feet times feet, which is feet to the third power. But now let's think of some more synonyms for feet to the third power. This is feet cubed, or cubic feet. And what this tells us is that we could place 24 little cubes inside of this big rectangular prism. So what volume tells us is how many little cubes we could place inside of some solid figure. And this is how we would measure this. This would be a cubic foot. Well, I'll write this out here. This would be a cubic foot. And we could fit 24 of them inside of this rectangular prism. Okay, so to summarize, the difference between distance, area, and volume. Distance is one-dimensional and we measure distance with a straight line. We have area is two-dimensional 
and we measure area with individual little squares, little square feet. So we're measuring them with square feet or feet to the second power. And finally, volume is three-dimensional and it takes area, which was length times width, to length times width times height. And we measure volume with individual little cubes. Okay, well this is going to conclude this distance, area, and volume video. Thank you all for watching and I hope this was helpful.